Melody the kind of fella, it was a kind of Robin Hood guy. Melody would, if he had money, man, he spent with everybody, and he, if he didn't have it, he tried to outsmart you to get some, and maybe go down the street and spend it with somebody else. But I said he was a very good entertainer. Like his sobriquet, you know, imply, he had one of, to me, one of the most melodious voices in Calypso, and a great writer at that. As a matter of fact, I dare say that he is one of the most successful Calypsonian out of Trinidad as far as international Calypsos go. Well, he was one of the most beloved guys. Yes. You know? Yes. The charisma. Oh, the man, there's something else. I know I met people who swear to kill Melody anytime they see him. And so happened that I am there. Yeah. I said, oh my goodness, I'm going to witness a murder now. Trouble. The very same people who were swearing all the time they're going to kill Melody because of something they alleged that he did them. End up hawking up Melody. Hey, well, Melo, what's I've up? I've seen it many times. Many times. You should. We know. So, so what's happening? Let me go and take a drink now, man. I don't yeah. know what he had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he had magic, man. And his style of singing was beautiful. It suited me well. Now, many other Calypsonians influenced me. And um, I have to thank a lot of them. But Melody was one who I tried to, to, to be like in terms of phrasing and tempo and that kind Bonks of thing. thing. He had a bunk there that was out of this world. He eventually came to New York and he came to find me. And I fell in love with the guy and his style and his talk. And we must have done about six or seven songs thereafter. I wonder why nobody don't like me. Or is it a fact that I'm ugly? I wonder why nobody don't like me. Or is it a fact that I'm ugly? I leave my whole house and go. My children don't want me no more. That talk inside the house they bring. And when I talk, they start to sing. Mama looks at me. Boo -boo. They shout. Then what I tell them, shut up your mouth. Your daddy, oh no, my daddy can be Melody was one of the big elusive people in my life, and I admired him, and the way in which he wrote things, and the style in which he wrote, was very, very influential. I met him on the street, and I said to him, I said, hi, Belafonte, and he stood up. Yeah. First time that man ever seen me. <laughs> he said, who are you? I said, Melody. He said, the Lord Melody? I said, yes. He said, come with me. And from that time to about, you know, six years ago, we was totally married. Melody had a falsetto that was just quite as good. Some of ugly animals. <laughs> I don't know why, Ma, pick you are tall, discommoding me every day. <laughs> <laughs> he could hit a whole octave. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, one, yeah, yeah. You know, one little one falsetto. I wonder why nobody don't like me. Or is it the fact that I'm old? I wonder why nobody don't like me. That's the only thing that I thought. Like. I'll leave, leave me whole house and go. My children don't want me no more. Their cursing black is white and thin. And when I talk, they start to sing. Mama, look at Boo Boo. They shout. The mother told them, shut up your mouth. That is your daddy. Oh no. My daddy can be ugly so. Oh, no. My daddy can be ugly so. Shut your mouth, go away. Mama, look at boo boo day. Uh -huh. Shut your mouth, go away. Mama, look at boo boo day. Well, Afonte sang my song, um, Gene and Dinah, and he made uh, a, a name for himself, but he already had a name, um, but he made the name even bigger. Then he sang Melody song, um, Mama Loka Boo Boo, and um, well, we started feeling good in a way, well, you know, at least we're going to get some money. And we went up to the United States and sought him out, and uh, Melody wanted some money from him, and I wanted him to open some doors for me. When this King of Calypso stuff came out, the Trinidadians went crazy. Boy, they went nuts. You call yourself the King of Calypso, and you never come here, and you never go up into competition, you never do jump up, you never go in the tent, you never do nothing, and you teeth the music, and you call yourself king. How can you do that? 
And I said, you're absolutely right. I've never been in the tent. I never competed because I never thought I could. I never wanted to. Those who possess the Calypsonian art are men of remarkable gifts. And there's a, specialty, there's a speciality to it that I'm not privileged to embrace. The fact that I've been called King of Calypso was not my manufacturing. Deal with those who market and sell you goods that you buy every day. I said, but what I did do was to use the environment of Caribbean lore to put us on the map at another level that I thought was instructive and creative for us. And in that service, if I have offended you, then I beg your forgiveness. A lot of comments they used to have on Belafonte here is that he thieved the Calypso and um, he can't sing Calypso and he's spoiling the people Calypso, but they never thought that Belafonte doing Calypso would bring greater revenue to mm -hmm. the individual Calypso then. A lot of people tend to say, well, he doesn't sing, really sing Calypso and so on, but I think Harry Belafonte has done more to put Calypso music into the consciousness of people.